Hi, before this begins, I just want to let you know that this is mostly just for fun. I'm going to be butchering the design of this through the entire tutorial. This is not a technical tutorial like many of my other tutorials. This is really just for fun, just to create the shape of what I can see from photos and from the video. So um, have fun with it. Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to make a representation of the Tesla Cybertruck in Autodesk Fusion 360. Now the first thing we want to do is come over here to insert, click on canvas, and we're going to select this plane right here. And with it selected, we can come to image and click on this button. And we're going to click on the Cybertruck image. Now that we have that placed in, I'm just going to hit OK here. And I'm going to come over here to Origin. And I want to select the YZ plane and start a sketch on that plane. And I'm going to create a line from the origin out. And I want to set the dimension here to be 231 inches. That's the length, approximately, of the vehicle. Now, as you can see, this length is way larger than our sketch picture. So we need to scale up our sketch picture accordingly. I'm going to edit the canvas. And what I can do is I can take this arrow and just drag up. And that's going to scale my image. And what I also need to do is move this image here. And I want to place it so that it's approximately the size of the line. And maybe a little bit more. And once you have it in place, um, just hit OK. And this is going to be our sort of frame of reference when we're working. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create the first extrusion that we're going to use um, for the vehicle. So um, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit more. And I'm going to move this upward uh, to about here. And if I look at this um, kind of pitch, it's going to be a little bit easier to work with. What I want to do is I want to create a sketch on the XZ plane. And what I'm going to do is create a rectangle, a center rectangle, under the Create tab. And I'm just going to place this here and drag it out. And what I want to do is I want to project the original line that we made. So click P on the keyboard and click on the original line and just hit OK. And that's going to automatically do it for you. And I want to place this right on the center, or the sorry, the middle of, this, of the line. And that is a constraint that's automatically been created for me. So I'm looking at this from the top, and you can see this is the first point of the line, and this is the second point of the line, and this is my newly created rectangle. So I want to click on coincident, click on the line, click on the point. And you may need to project these two points, and then you'll be able to connect them. So from here, we want to add one more dimension and that dimension is going to be for the width and the width is 78 inches approximately and so let's look at this um, from the side so it's going to be a little bit easier to to figure out so um, from here what we want to do is we want to extrude up so I'm going to come to Solid and Extrusion. And I'm just going to click on the uh, closed shapes here. And I want to drag this up. And I'm, I feel like I need to adjust these sketch pictures. So I can always do that. I can edit the canvas. And I can just kind of move this into place here. 
and we want to get as close to the shape as possible uh, within reason so I'm just going to select both of these and I can drag this up and I can also set a taper angle so I'm going to set a taper angle of let's see what 10 looks like so maybe 9 degrees and just going to hit OK and that's going to look good but as you can see here the this line needs to be adjusted a little bit or the sketch picture needs to be adjusted a little bit so I'm just going to edit it one more time and that's going to be about where it needs to be I can kind of do a little bit of fine tuning here um, if I need to 0 0.028 just going to hit OK. And that's going to look OK. So what we want to do now is uh, we want to do a cut from another direction. We want to cut from the from this plane now. And hopefully that, that's going to help us uh, gain a little bit more of a realistic shape. So let's start a sketch. And I'm going to drag up a line uh, basically from this point um, up to here and you just want to adjust it so that it's in place alright I'm actually going to project this point here and now I can kinda of set this where I want it to be so um, I'm actually gonna set an angle here I think that's that'll be helpful and this angle is gonna be 2.8 degrees and now I'm actually going to connect these two as well and now I can hopefully create an extrusion so I'm going to come to solid extrude and I am going to cut in both directions so I'm just going to cut through the material and hit OK and now we have a piece of material with this shape and so now that we have that what we want to do is we want to create the rest of the design so um, what we want to what we the next uh, shape that we want to make is going to be an extrusion from the side so I'm gonna start a sketch on the YZ plane and that's going to start about here and come up to this point and come all the way back to this edge right here and you may need to click on the point to select it in order to make them coincident I'm gonna do the same thing on this front I'm just gonna click on this point click on this point make them coincident and just kinda of drag this into place um, about as accurately as as you can so um, with that done we can now create an extrusion. Um, we just have to close our shape first. So I'm going to click on um, the sketch. Let, let's see if this is a closed profile. This is not a closed profile. So I need to click on this line and I need to edit the sketch. Let's go back and edit the sketch. And let me add a projected line of this of this curve right here so click P on the keyboard hit OK and this is now closed profile so we can come to solid extrude and I can now extrude this out in basically symmetrically and what I want to do is just move this out until it touches that point. So since if we look at this from the top it's going to be a little bit easier to work with. So we do have a, a bit of a taper here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this out uh, to about here and I'm going to hit OK. And this is going to need a taper angle as well. So 
Um, if I look at this from the back, you can see that it comes out straight and it actually overhangs too. Um, so what we want to do is we want to cut this at an angle, but we want the taper to uh, work for our advantage uh, based on this geometry of this piece. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to come to the XY plane and I'm going to start a sketch here. So let me drag out a line or actually let me click on this point first and project it. And with it projected I could drag out a line, set it at an angle of my choosing. I'm going to set it about here for right now. And from here we're just going to close up this shape. Just going to This is going to come all the way down to the bottom and let me project this point as well. Just going to make this horizontal. And now I can just click on this line and project it. And now we have a closed profile. So that's good. I'm going to finish my sketch. And now what I can do is I can come down to create and sweep and I'm going to click on this profile and I want to click on the path but I want to click on the right path. I want to click on the path that we used to create our original block. So to do, to do that I'm going to make sure that I'm looking right here and I'm going to select the correct one. I'm going to select the original blocks line. So I'm just going to cut this just to see what it looks like right now. All right. So we just need to make it a little bit higher because it didn't cut through the whole thing. That's fine. And that's going to be good. So that's our profile right now. And as you can see, it's sort of shaping up to look like the vehicle. Now we want to do the same thing to the other side. So what I can do is I can come back to my uh, sketch here. And with this selected, I can take the angle of what's important. So I could just set an angle between here and here. And I can change this if I want right now. So I'm just going to make it 71, an even 71. And that way I know what to do on my other sketch. So um, what I want to do is mirror this. I want to mirror the cut. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come down to Create, Mirror. And I want to select um, this sweep, which we just made. And this is a feature. Click on that feature. And for the mirror plane, I'm going to select, I want to select the YZ. And let's see what it looks like. So uh, that's the feature. And we're just going to hit OK. And voila. So that's our basic shape. Now we can continue to do some tweaking here. Uh, we want to tweak. What I'm going to do next is make an edit. So I'm just going to turn my block. And I'm looking at the bottom of my block right now. And what you can do is you can come to press pull and click on this face. And now that we're looking back at it from the side, you can basically just move this arrow down with the face selected and we want to move it down up until the point that it touches the bottom edge of this line right here, this nice line. So I'm going to drag it down to here and hit OK. And now I can come to the YZ plane that we love so much and I can create a sketch. Uh, basically starting, um, let's say it starts about here and it comes out um, to about there. Now we want to get the angle 
um, as right as we can. And let me close this triangle. And we're going to cut this piece of material um, using the angle. So let me drag this up a little bit. Okay, finish sketch, come to extrude. And just like before, we're going to create an extrusion. So select the profile, and we want it to be symmetric. And let's drag all the way out and cut all the way through the part. And so now we have that sort of angle right there that we need. And I'm actually going to choose to um, drag it up um, a little bit more, the, the harshness of this angle. I want to cut through the rest of the block. So I'm going to set it um, about there. I know it may be a little bit hard to see uh, with the sketch picture, but what I'm doing is I'm trying to lay this top line right on top of that line on the vehicle. So as you can see, um, it seems to be uh, very close. So um, with this bottom line right here. So uh, we're, we're going to leave it at that for now. And we want to move on to creating our next extrusion. So from here, we're going to look at this from the bottom. And we can see the shape that we have right now. Um, what we need to do is create another plane about where the underside of the vehicle is. So um, let's come to the XZ plane and let's start a sketch on this plane. I'm sorry, uh, we don't need to start a sketch. We just need to select it So XZ, we have it selected, and we can come to Construct and Offset Plane. And it just needs to be uh, dragged down uh, to a point where it's at the bottom edge right here. So that's, that's much too low. We need to move it up. We need to move it up to about here. And so it's very hard to see, but that's the line. And this line is actually a plane. If you look at it from the side, you can see that it's a plane. So we're, we're going to use this um, now to make an extrusion. So I'm going to create a sketch now working on this plane. And I'm going to take some inspiration from the sketch picture. So if I rotate this to the side, can kind of uh, come to create, use a center rectangle, and I can um, basically create it based on this bottom shape right here. So I can kind of drag this in a little bit if need be. And now that I'm looking at the bottom of the part, I can click on the center of that rectangle and this point, and I can make them horizontal with each other. And we're going to have to estimate this a little bit, um, exactly the sizing. Um, now we want this to be, oops. Now I want this dimension to stay the same. So I'm going to dimension that. It's about 109 inches. And now I can drag out in this direction. And I'm going to, I'm going to place it about here. And we just want to have that subtle sort of angle. So I'm going to extrude. And this is going to be extruding upward. So I can click on the profile and I can drag it up um, to about here. And the best part about this is I can set an angle. So let's see what happens if I set the angle at 10. That's not enough. We want to have it uh, much larger. 40, 50, um, okay, so that's that looks uh, definitely more realistic. 
So we're going to hit OK. And we can tweak this accordingly. So I can, I can actually change um, the angle that I, that I was working with before. I can make this 90 inches. And I continue to sort of refine and, and tweak this. Okay, so we want to kind of move this to about here and let's see what that looks like. So that that's more along the lines of what we want. May need to tweak it a little bit more, make this maybe 95 and drag this back in place. I haven't set a dimension for this, that's why it's flying all over the place, but uh, that's okay. And so that's, that's going to be our bottom uh, shape right there. And from here, uh, we want to just take a quick look at what's going on here. So we, we want to connect um, these two blocks. So I need to edit this a little bit and drag it up. And what I really want to do is not make it a distance, but two object. And then I can just select this bottom face and it's going to extrude uh, right to it. And that's going to be more advantageous. And once it's dragged to that point, then it can be cut uh, from the side. Um, or the angle can be changed. So I, what I can do is I can edit the feature and I can just dial back the angle um, until it's it's the angle that I want. So I, I can I'll continue to come back on the angle. Sorry, that's not 260, 26. Make it 25. And if you need to, you can cut off the excess. So um, I'm going to see if I could get away without it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. So that we're just going to leave it at about that. That's It's not perfect, but it um, it's definitely uh, in, coming in the right direction. So if we look at this uh, from the uh, bottom corner, you can see that uh, because of the taper, this is not uh, coming out to where we want it to be, so we have to um, fix this. So we just need to extend the shape a little bit. I'm just going to make it a little bit larger so it hangs over just a tiny bit. And even though this angle is going to get cut off, it's definitely a good reference to use uh, when you're kind of trying to figure out the shape. So I'm going to create a sketch and I'm going to make a line here. I'm going to click on um, this line and this line and project them. And let me drag out a line from about here. So this is what I'm going to use. And the same thing goes for the other side, um, but we can always mirror the feature. So uh, let's come to create and do the same thing as before. We're going to make a sweep. And this is going to be our profile, and the path is going to be um, this uh, line right here. It's actually supposed to be the whole thing, yes, uh, the whole path. And let's just see what that looks like. So it didn't cut through the whole thing. I think the wrong path was selected. Let's edit the feature. Actually, the profile is, is incorrect. The profile needs to um, cut all the way through. I could really just kind of cheat and make these um, collinear lines and drag the angle back a little bit.
and if you need to you can continue to make uh, tweaks that you, that you need to make um, I need to to change the profile a little bit more Uh, if you need to, you can also delete constraints. So right now I want to get rid of um, a couple lines here and just kind of cut through this uh, like so and just see what the result is. So that definitely looks a lot better and we're going to stick with that for now. Um, this needs to be a little bit longer, but um, we're going to move on to creating the wheel well holes. So um, I'm really just going to create one uh, famous cut through both of these. I'm just going to kind of estimate out this shape. And yes, I know I am butchering it. Uh, this is really just uh, kind of just having some fun with uh, with fusion and and just uh, working with the lines and working with the features to kind of do a fun little, almost like a 3D printed little ornament of, of the shape of the vehicle. So I'm gonna click on these two and we wanna do a cut and we want it to be symmetric going to drag out in both directions and that's going to cut and I definitely want to change um, this extrusion a little bit sorry not the feature but the sketch so I want to make the size a little bit larger a little bit longer. Um, instead of 95 inches, uh, let's try maybe 105. That's going to be, I think, a little bit too large. Yeah, a little bit too large. I think I overestimated there. So maybe 99 inches. Yeah, that's definitely a lot better, um, a lot closer. So. Um, With that, what we want to have is our um, little extrusion here. So I'm going to, yeah, let's look at this from the bottom. And we can actually just hide this, this uh, canvas. And if you'd like, you can come to display settings and just come to shaded instead of shaded with edges. And so we have that basic vehicle shape. And if we want, we could have some fun here uh, making an, an extrusion in the back. Um, so I can come here to the YZ And I'm going to create a sketch. And we're, we're working in the middle of the part right now. So I can just kind of, I think it's a little bit more forward than this, but we'll work with it for now. I'll drag this forward a little bit. Let me close off the triangle. And from here I can make an extrusion I mean, it looks like something like this, but it's hard to tell. Um, I think this needs to be a much lower. So we're, we're just gonna cut through, but we're gonna change the sketch. I'm just gonna drag this um, down. 
uh, to about here. So you can tell this is pretty realistic. Um, and that's, that's what it appears to look like. And I think we need to change the angle of the back a little bit, so. Now what we need to do is cut through all of our uh, objects. So I want to cut through body one as well. And yeah, I think that just about covers it. Um, I know that in the front there are a couple things here, so um, I could throw just two chamfers here just to kind of even this out a little bit. And I can make um, some wheels, or at least just the shape of the wheel. But um, yeah, that's the basic shape of the vehicle.